Hey, you probably here because you're coming from the GitHub, from the Kinefix tool set. If you're not, go and check it out those tools because they will help you to streamline the rigging process, especially creating a object level controls for Kinefix. And there is a few very handy HDAs, which is uh, worth checking. And let's go and show you, let's go and let me show you what is uh, new in the latest release of the tools and it's something really cool. So, as you know, when you rig in the Houdini, the, um, the power of the Houdini and not only in that, but it's in a digital asset that you can, you know, encapsulate your rig in a digital asset. The one thing is that when you, you know, encapsulate your rig in a digital asset and if you're using an object level controls, you basically need to go and promote those parameters, translate, rotate, whatever you have, you need to promote them on the top of your HDA. And, you know, probably you have your own tools. If you don't, you know, the one way of doing it is to basically doing it by hand. And that can be a pain, you know? If you're doing it once, that's fine. But what we're having here, we have an option to just basically going and selecting all those controls and just deleting them. And, you know, then you need to go and redo that process. So it's, it's, a, it's a big pain. Because you think it's a full procedural, you know, you, we don't like that by hand stuff. So there's a new tool for you. It's a new script. It basically promotes your controls on your HDA and it, and it sounds super fantastic. So let me show you the biggest changes. So there's a changes in the attach uh, control geometry node. So there's a big change called control folder. And it's basically referencing to the name of your um, node. What is what it is? Um, that's gonna be the folder name on top of your HDA where those channels will be promoted. So, and also important thing that translate, you know, lock lock parameters will be you know locked in the proper way as well. So, for most of the time, you know, I always keep it here as a as basically my node name. So important part here is to name your nodes correctly. The cool part is that information is being saved on attributes. So the tools can as access it and et cetera, et cetera. So it's, uh, that data is still on the points. So let me show you how to create, you know, once again, the you know object level controls on the leg, why not? Let's select the last node in the, in the leg and let's create the um, object level controls. Voila, we have our you know, rig pose and etc. And yeah, we have our object level controls here. And if you look at them, yeah, they are here. Everything is awesome, but they're not promote yet. And let me show you something else cool is that the currently there is automatically created a group for you called controls, which is super cool because all the controls are already saved here. And the next tool will require a selection. So, you know, when you have your controls created for your rig and you're ready to promote all the parameters here which you can see there's nothing basically um, here so let me just go and select all the controls yep we have all the controls select we press the button run the script which you can find basically in the github and yep we're ready to go and voila all the folders with all the controls connected properly i created for you and let me just save the node type for you let me just match the current definition and now it's just saving one second okay and now if you sell a control check this out basically you have an access to everything whatever you want that's fantastic so yeah you know feel free to share that video and you know all the attributes and you know, sorry, all node attributes, all the parameters which you lock, they're not visible here, so an animator, you know, for the knee, for example, we only expose translation, we didn't expose rotation, nothing like that, so rotation is not visible, super cool. And, you know, the currently there are tabs, but to be honest, why not just go in type properties and you can just go parameters and you can change those guys to whatever you want. They nicely named, so they're easy to find. And everything so guys um go and take a look at the github and share this stuff because there's more cool hdas coming i want to publish some really cool 
uh, rigging HDAs, which will you know let you to create some super cool rigs and etc. But I need your help to basically keep spreading the word. And if you have some cool ideas, yeah, keep uh, you know put some comments and send some emails, some other stuff. And thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.